Yo, you guys locked in or what? It's your boy DeAndre Saxon back for another video coming to you from beautiful Dubai. You already know what it is. I want to give a shout out to you guys in the community. You guys have been leaving great comment, good energy. And if you guys are whack, get off my channel. This is only for dudes that are trying to lock in that want to get better and better. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a simple way to understand the law of attraction. I was actually doing a meditation yesterday and this idea came to me and I put it together and I showed it to a client right now and it opened up his eyes. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it. So you guys are trying to manifest a new life. If you're watching my channel, you're probably a dude. You're trying to get your life together. You want to earn seven figures. Like we're not even talking about six figures. Dudes that want to follow me, they want to make seven figures, if not seven figures a month. They're trying to drive Lambos. They're trying to live a life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that stuff gets me hyped. But in order to attract that life, we have to upgrade our character. We have to upgrade our, upgrade our self-image. We have to become better men, as I talk about on this channel. So in order to do this, we want to magnetize new life to us, right? We're going to use certain universal laws like the law of attraction, law of transmutation, law of polarity. These are different laws that I've learned working with Bob Proc that, ha that have allowed me to earn seven figures. So the law of attraction is something you've probably heard before, but it explained in a different way. When I was doing this meditation, I'm getting the chills thinking about it right now. I realized that in order for us to magnetize a new life, we have to generate the feelings first. And here's a perfect example. I w think about the last time you went camping or, or at nighttime. You know like when you see a, uh, a condescent light, a fluorescent light, condescent light, whatever it's called, right? You know a light when at night it has like the bugs just floating, floating around it? So we're going to use this example, okay? We're going to take two different examples in this picture. We have a light that's off and a light that's on. So what we have to do, I want you to imagine that you are the light. But most importantly, the feeling state that you're operating on. Meaning that whatever feeling that you're having, whether it's abundance or lack or limitation or excitement or freedom or whatever it is that you're trying to generate, whatever those feelings that will come to you when you manifest your life, that's, that's the light bulb being turned on, okay? So imagine you're the light bulb and when the light bulb is on and you're attracting these bugs, those bugs that are being attracted to you, that's your manifestation. That's the bank account, that's the car, that's the lifestyle, your girlfriend, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. So when you become a fluorescent light bulb and you start to magnetize those things to you what starts to happen those bugs they come flying towards you but let me ask you this question let's just say your light bulb was not turned on would you be still attracting those same bugs in this example and the answer would be no many people they are the light bulb right here they're they're turned off they're like deandre once i have the bank account and the money then i'll feel the freedom once i get the car then i'll feel happy once my business goes up then i'll be happy once i get views on instagram then i'll be professional and take it seriously right they're trying to manifest in the outside world and waiting for the outside world to change before they become the feeling state but that's not how it works you you can't you want to magnetize the bugs to you or the the manifestations or attract the things to you but if your light is off you'll never attract those things to you what you have to do is you have to be you have to generate it you have to generate the feeling state before it comes so here on the right now we have another light bulb that's been turned on and what does this represent this represents you generating the feelings of abundance of freedom of excitement of love whatever it is that you're trying to manifest you have to generate it first but let me let me warn you here there's something that's going to trip you up and that's the gap between the moment you turn the light on and the moment the bugs start to manifest into your life in this weird example, right? So as you guys know, it might take 10, 15, 20 minutes before bugs start to kind of formulate around that light bulb. That is known as the unknown zone. So here's a person now, they're like, you know what, DeAndre, I wanna formulate abundance in my life. I wanna run a six and seven figure business. And what starts to happen now is they turn on the light. They're doing the meditations, they're doing the work, they're starting to feel the abundance and now it's been three days seven days maybe two or three weeks it could even be a month and things are not changing for them it seems like the manifestations are not showing up so what starts to happen now is that they turn their light off they said you know what deandre i did the work i was doing the meditations and nothing came well what happened is that they didn't they didn't wait long enough for the bugs to arrive they know it's a law. They know the law of attraction. They've studied this. This is not the first time you're hearing this. They've studied this. They know that it's real. 
but yet they didn't maintain state long enough in that unknown zone for it to manifest because there's a there's a time gap there's a time delay between you holding that feeling state of abundance and it actually showing up but by law law of attraction law of vibration it must show up in your in your hands if you hold the feeling state in this example with the bugs if you turn on the light it's a law especially in a camp zone if you're in the woods the bugs will show up and they will be magnetized to that light but it might take a couple minutes now for you you're holding these feeling states but then the outside world says you know what deandre you're only you're you're getting x amount of views on instagram you're getting x amount of views on youtube and what will happen is that you let the outside world dictate your emotions you in order to change you have to be greater than your environment you have to be bigger than what the outside world is telling you because remember we talked about this before you the outside world is a reflection of the inside world so whatever you've manifested in your life right now that is a reflection of yesterday's thinking so of course it's going to take you a couple minutes a couple days a couple weeks to create a new reality because you're raising your frequency in the state you are turning on a new light and a light of freedom and abundance and it might take you a couple times because the physical world is the slowest form of vibration so here you are think of it like a funnel at the top of the funnel, you have the spiritual part. Then the middle of the funnel is the intellectual. And at the bottom is the physical world. So this physical world, this one that we have right here, this is the slowest form of vibration. So that thing, that new bank account, that new reality, that new Instagram growth, whatever it is you're trying to manifest, of course, it's going to take you a little bit of time to magnetize because it's the slowest form of vibration. But if you hold state, and this is this is the key here you have to hold the state of the feeling of the wish fulfilled until it manifests and brother let me tell you this this could be one of the most difficult things but it could be also the most rewarding things before i had my first hundred thousand dollar month i had a seed in my mind every single day i'd visualize myself having a booked out calendar i'd visualize myself having a seven-figure business and traveling the world and driving my dream cars i had to see it first before i ever held it but more importantly not just seeing it I had to feel it. I had to turn on the light bulb first before the bugs were magnetized, the bank account and the business and the opportunities. And that was a that was a moment of about 45 days. It was one month I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna pay rent? The next week I make almost a hundred thousand dollars, right? I, I held state long enough. The outside world will lie to you if you don't hold that state. So here's who you don't want to be. You don't want to be the light bulb that's turned off. And that's where most people are going to be. Most people are going to say, you know what, DeAndre, once it comes, then I'll feel it. Once I see it, then I'll believe it. If that's how you're going to operate, brother, you will never manifest and create a new life. You have to see it here, feel it here, and then it will manifest. And you have to hold it long enough and for it to manifest because these are laws that have been placed in here in this spiritual world using the law of attraction, using the law of vibration, using the law of transmutation, law of transmutation stating that whatever image you hold in your, in your spiritual mind, it must transmute or change energy into its physical form. Think about this iPhone right here. It was transmuted. First, it was Steve Jobs thinking, let's create a, a phone that's in the hands of everybody, right? And so here was an idea that's now transmuted or changed energy from an idea to a physical object. That's called the law of transmutation. So by you using these laws, you're going to take that manifestation, that new bank account, that new lifestyle and transmute it to its physical form. But brother, you have to hold the feeling state. You're going to have to turn on that light bulb first. And obviously there's some other things that you have to do. You know, I talk about raising your self image and all these kind of things. Now there's a process in order to do that. But brother, I wanted to show you this quick little story that I got while I was doing a meditation that the law of attraction is just like a light bulb in a, in, a, in a camp zone. When you turn on the light, the bugs start to magnetize towards it and you are that light bulb. But don't make the mistake of trying to magnetize the bugs with your light off saying once it comes, then, once the bugs come, then I'll turn on the light. That's not how it works. You have to turn on the light first. Once you turn on your light, everything, the people, the situation, the circumstances, the money, everything will magnetize to you but there will be a gap known as the unknown zone 
between where you turn on those feelings and when it actually manifests. And it can be days, weeks, months, but you have to hold the feeling state. You cannot let the outside world dictate that feeling and turn your light off. Brother, you can change your life every single day. I've done it and I'm documenting it every single day here on YouTube and I'm hoping that you get better and join the community and just make it better, better, better because you have what it takes. Man, if you like this kind of content, join the community. We just have some new people join in in the school group. You can also message me on Instagram and just chat with me. Look at the links in the description below join the community stay locked in brother you're gonna be a seven figure earner you're gonna live your dream life but you're gonna start here and so when this summer comes and you're and you're him and you're making shit happen and you got big motion big motion starts in here before you ever hold it in your hand let's go brother see you in the next video